saying what's going on guys it's your favorite youtuber here in the whole wide world i hope so today we're going to be talking about something my teacher in fourth grade because yeah she was not the best not the best fourth grade she would say hi to us in like the morning and stuff, she was not having it. Because later in the day, at any specific time or anything, like, it would just be yelling at us. And one time, it was like somewhere around the beginning of fourth grade, and she was like just helping this kid, and he, he's in fourth grade, but like, you know, he like, you have reading levels and stuff, well, his wasn't the best, he was still at like, uh, level, maybe like, six, seven, ten, or something like that, like, he was in fourth grade, and everyone else had like, four days, fifties, sixties, and stuff, so, I was trying to help him out on one of his like reading things, and then Miss Cranky Pants, I'm just gonna call her Miss Cranky Pants because I don't want to be like, exposed to her feel bad. But also, she was always. Josiah. Okay, so that's not his real name, but we're gonna call him Josiah. And Josiah, he was, you know, not the best at reading and stuff. And so I was helping him on one of his studies, you know, and then this cranky was started yelling at me for no reason. She was like, let him do it on his own. Even though he was like struggling really, really hard, hard and badly. And I wanted to just talk back to her and say like, well, he needs help. But not like talk back to her in a bad way. So I let him do his thing and yet he still struggled like a lot. And it was not good. And the next day, he was not doing his homework because he didn't know how to do it. And she never, like, gives good, like, she doesn't know how to explain, like, homework assignments. Like, she can't explain them very well. And so, that same exact day, I didn't get it either. And she came yelling at both of us, saying... How come you guys didn't know how to do it? And why didn't you ask other classmates? And just remember that this was like the beginning of the school year. And it was like, I didn't know. I didn't really know anyone very well. And Josiah, he was, you know, he wasn't the best at learning, like I've said. And it... <laughs> turned out for us to have half of our recess taken away because of it even though it was like the first like day of school and it wasn't the first day but you know what I mean the beginning of school and yeah it wasn't very good 
and every other time we would just get in trouble and she would just yell at us all the time and it got really annoying until I met my friend NJ he he's like a good friend of mine and you know and then I met this other girl uh let's call her mm, let's see here what is a good let's call her um probably not the best for me but let's call her Susan and so Susan was um like she was a really good or like sort of really good friend with uh miss well, mrs crinky pants i almost said her name for a second Oof, that would have been bad um but so after she started yelling at us and it got to the point where we were talking like saying that one day we should start like confronting her and saying stuff like that and i know some of you are going to be like well that's not a very good thing to do and yes it might have not been but if you were in my class you would understand you'd want to do the same exact thing so we didn't do it but we just stuck up with it and we were all by each other and then she's i overheard her talking with one of my teachers like one of my other teachers um, not Susan, but like Miss Cranky Pants was talking to other like teachers and stuff. And so I overheard her and she was saying something about retiring. And so then I told like her and NJ and stuff. And yeah, it was, they were very surprised when they heard that. But they were also like, well, that's good because then we won't have to, any other kids will, we won't have to deal with her anymore. And I was like, yeah, that's actually a really good thing. And so let's jump to the end of the year. Um, we're all having a great day. And she hands out like these papers that tell like other kids that like what to expect from the teachers and stuff. So I was surprised when I saw this because I didn't know like if she was like retiring or if she is just a troll or something. But also I told her about what I heard and she was like, let's just keep this a secret. And I was like, oh, okay. Cause I don't know why I wanted to keep a secret because I didn't really and after I was just really surprised on seeing that, it was shocking because I thought she was retiring and she wasn't going to, you know, be there this year, fifth grade for me. But all's well, it's been pretty good. My summer has been pretty good since then and I'm happy I'm not really in her class anymore. Cranky Pants was enough for me, and I was always complaining to my mom and stuff, and I was like, she's not a good teacher, because she really wasn't. She helped us on a lot of stuff, I will admit that, but still, like, she didn't treat her class very well. And maybe some of you can relate. What you think in the comments?